during this time of the year, this is the, the saddest time for me, right? Because people are making New Year's resolutions and, uh, you know, my birthday about to come up. And so now I'm realizing that, man, I'm fit to be 54 years old. And I was 39 years old when I proved that I was innocent, right? But now from 39 to 54, my family has abandoned me and my friends, right? And and so what would my New Year's resolution be? Would it be a prayer to your God to change your heart or your mind? See, cause I'm confused, right? Because if I change, then my enemy would have put me in prison because just last week, for the sixth time, he tried to put me in a mental hospital. So now, if my enemy couldn't beat me in court 15 years ago, but now for 15 years, my family and friends have watched him put me in Seminole County Jail for Thanksgiving in 2010, right? Thanksgiving of 2010, I, I, I was in Seminole County Jail, not in court in jail. But at the same time I was in jail, I had a, two civil cases going on, with three civil cases going on, one for my 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 house, which was my grandmama's house that my aunt Felder gave to me. So I'm fighting the state of Florida for my inheritance, right? In, in Orange County, in the civil courthouse in Orange County in the state of Florida. Then I'm in Seminole County, right, fighting for my wife and my my wife's financial future, my financial future, and our children inheritance because I'm fighting over our home, right, in the Seminole County Courthouse in the Civil Division. And then they put me in criminal court. So that's when I started fighting for my life, right? But now my friends and family is telling me to give up. And I'm saying on what, right? I'm saying no matter what, I have to try to survive. So if you telling me to give up, then give up on what? You see what I'm saying? Cause you acting like you don't know what I'm going through. So why would you tell me to give up on something you don't know about in the first place. So if you telling me to give up, then you done heard me asking you for help. So see, this is what I'm saying, right? When a non-believer becomes a believer, who then is hurt? See what I'm saying? So say if my friends and family once believed in me, right? And then my friends and family lost faith in me. What happened? Right? I mean, what made you lose faith? Right? So now, if you lost faith in me, right? Then how do I get that faith back if I give up? Right? Now, if you telling me to give up and I'm trying to get my, your faith back, then am I not losing faith in you, right? I mean, if you lost faith in me, right? But see, look at you all. See, I'm saying my friends and family. See, that's the masses, right? So how can I save God's world, right, from my world if I can't save my world from God's world, right? Because some of my friends was telling me about their father, right? And then when I read about their father, when he was me, the Caesar Abraham was telling him about their father. So I'm saying, well, if we are now um, living out of the Holy Bible, then who am I playing? And who is the Pharisees? Who is the chief priests? Who is the high priest? Who is the scribes? Who is the elders, right? So 
um, I was told that I was like Job, right? Now, when I read the story of Job, your God made a deal, right, with the devil. Now, how about if your God made a deal with the devil on me? But then I'm saying, well, now the Bible says that the devil, right, is a liar and a murderer from the beginning. So wouldn't that mean that the devil lied on God when it was pertaining to Job? Well, why would you believe the devil when the devil told you that God made a deal? And why would God make a deal with the devil? See what I'm saying? Like, see, everything y'all saying is contradicting by the Bible. Because if the Bible says that your father was a liar and a murderer from the beginning and the truth do not abode him in him because the truth is not in him, then why would the, the, the uh, father of Job, right, then make a deal with a liar on his son? So how about if the devil lied on God, like you all lying on Jesus or the prophet Muhammad? See, you all say, Jesus said, but you don't really know if Jesus said that. You know that somebody said that Jesus said, and then you leave, you read the translated version of what they said somebody said. So see, this is what I'm saying about the slave. What do you really know if you have never written anything? So what do you actually know if everything you read, that you read now was written by somebody else because you couldn't read nor write? 